I have been very hesitant on making a video like this. For those of you who have followed on the channel, you know I am very, very interested in Flow by Moen and Finn Plus. I've had both of them. I've tested both of them. I'm sharing the results on the channel, building up to a full-on comparison video. But the thing about taking apart a unit, especially when you're going to put something online, is I feel that that encourages others to do the same. And there are a couple reasons why you don't want to do it, especially if you have a live unit that's at least semi-working, is that you can void the warranty. And these are proprietary devices. And I don't take this lightly because these are all companies that are working very hard to provide the ability for you to protect your home from water leaks. Recently, I've had a couple comments on the channel saying the flow sensor is no longer working. So I have a couple units that have failed in the past. And now that flow has specifically come out with a set of instructions, if your flow sensor has stopped working due to potential buildup with the turbine, we're going to try it out and see what we find. I've already obviously taken mine off, but it's easy enough to turn off the water to the house and unscrew the unions at flow, starting with channel locks. One recommendation I highly suggest when taking these off is to cover up the channel locks with a towel so you don't end up marking up the plastic unions. You can see there's the turbine or the impeller on the inside there where your water flows through. And there is an outside, it looks like there's a place where all of this will come out. It says use a doesn't seem to have anything obvious other than right around this outside edge here. But in using a paper clip, a hop by hooking it. I might need a smaller paper clip. Smaller paper clip. Let's try this again. Again, do not do this with a working one. That was super easy. Okay, so we have this outside protector piece like an o-ring right there and the turban it does not just fall out Ooh -hoo. you can see there is build up on these magnetic pieces which send signals back into the whatever it is that's the flow sensor and as this spins, of course, it's going to send those signals back and give you the flow of water, how fast the flow of water is through the turbine. As some of you know, I am a big believer in vinegar and its cleaning, weed killing abilities. It's been over an hour and I'm going to brush off the rust that should expose a little bit more of the magnets. And the problem with this is that if the rust has penetrated enough and the vinegar is eating away, if the rust is expanding out the plastic, it could be that the magnets could fall out. In any case, there's also no guarantee that this will work, that it's not another problem within the system itself, as some customers had noted. But if cleaning off the magnets work, you can put this right back into the system and flow will start detecting the water flow within your own plumbing system again. It's a lot cleaner now than it was, but it still has more buildup on it. This could use a little bit more time in the vinegar. You can just alternate between brushing some more off and allowing the vinegar to get after the rest of the rust on the impeller here. In any case, this also might not fix your entire problem if it's something within the unit itself that is no longer working. The last cleaning step of the instructions is to use a damp napkin or cloth to wipe the inner walls of the tube assembly while the turbine is out so the contact points for the magnet are free of debris and sediment. Hmm. It looks like there's just one contact point. I'm using a cloth and the leftover vinegar to wipe down inside here. It didn't look like there was any buildup at the start of this step. As for my own experience, 
gone through four flow by mowing devices here. I live in the Sonoran Desert. It did not fail due to the turbine or the buildup that you see here. The heat is too intense out here. This is not a good place for flow by mowing. Let's see. So there's a lesson learned. It's wonderful to take photos and which direction this should be. I'm gonna go with probably that direction, but let's find out. Okay, so I was wrong. This is the way that it goes back inside. It does seem like it's just looser now. Interesting. Let's try it out. But once it goes into place, make sure you put your O-ring back on before you put it back on the line. Otherwise it will start leaking here. And just as a reminder of what that looks like, it's an O-ring that's similar to this. You're looking for another black rubber gasket to go right in place there. The other last step when you install it is to make sure that it is pointed in the right direction. Might as well clean the rest of this off too. Before diving in and taking this apart, the first option Flow offers is less invasive. Shut off the water to the house and open up a faucet or three and allow the house to drain down. When no more water is coming out, open up the app and go to the control panel. Slowly turn on the whole house valve and watch the app to see if the flow rate starts registering. If it doesn't, turn the valve off and on a few times. And even if it does work the first time, do it an extra couple of times just to get as much buildup off the turbine as possible. If this works, it's your lucky day and definitely don't take flow apart. I hope that this video helps you fix your flow by mowing device. And thank you very much for those of you who are leaving comments on the videos in the channel. Thank you, Michael. Your feedback not only helps other people that are out there having the same problem, it's also providing feedback to the companies that are making this. These manufacturers are coming up with new designs, hopefully more robust ones, so that in the future, this won't be a problem. You can check out this video on the hidden costs and I admittedly compare Fin Plus and Flow by Moen, but you can apply these same concepts and ideas to any other water monitoring system out on the market. Thanks for watching and I will see you next Friday.